Congratulations on powering through your first week. It's always hectic and a bit overwhelming when you start a new class. This one, I think, especially starts out really quickly. It's sort of like being shot out, shot out of a rocket, as if you were a circus performer. So take a moment to pat yourself on the back to look at all you have absorbed and accomplished. Right, Just in the first introduction and orientation module, you've already gotten a handle on the course content, the course policies, on details about how we work together in Canvas. You've started to get to know each other. And then you had an entire module, how to think like an art historian, devoted to the tools and methods of the discipline. Right, so these are the practices that you will keep revisiting and refining again and again. Skills like sensory investigation, formal analysis, thinking historically, these are not a one and done. They're more like the techniques that a musician uses and keeps perfecting to get more and more artistry, more and more power and beauty out of every song. So you will need to be consciously applying what you've learned in sensory investigation, your ability to describe the sensory experience of an artwork. You'll be consciously applying what you learned in formal analysis, using these terms like composition, spatial perspective, modeling, color, hue, value. All of those are things that you want to gain mastery over and very much as well thinking historically, being very tuned in to the specific reality of a given historical world because you are wanting to build mastery of how you tie all those together that's what the scavenger hunt assignment is sort of coax, coaching you toward you will want to build mastery at weaving them together and you'll be showing off the mastery you've built in your final museum writing assignment. So everything you're doing right now, think of it as your first steps toward that final assignment. And remember to come back and revisit this again and again to build that mastery.